Hi everyone, this is Vijay, the MicroRest Sales Manager at MacroGen South Korea. Today I'm going to share the details of SNP genotyping service offered at MacroGen Korea, especially focusing on Illumina Infinium products. Let's get started. The contents of my presentation includes brief introduction about MacroGen and what we do and why there is a still requirement of microarray in the midst of whole genome sequencing techniques, followed by Illumina Infinium genotyping chemistry, and human versus non-human genotyping arrays, and why human arrays are well diversified. Finally, a brief introduction about the available plant genotyping arrays. Macrogen was started in 1997, and it is the first biotech company in Korea. Our main business includes sequencing, microarray, oligosynthesis, and manufacturing of diagnostic reagents. Today, there are about 500 employees currently working for Macrogen. Our founder, Dr. Chung Sun So, and he is also the president of Korea Bio Association. Macrogen has its subsidiaries in USA, Japan, Singapore, Europe. And we have branches in Spain, Taejeon, and Australia. Our affiliated companies include MyGen, 3 Billion, and HealthBreeze. In 2020, the hot topic is coronavirus. And we are the first company to identify the mutation in COVID-19 strain. Our innovation strategies include development of COVID-19 diagnostic kits. As you are aware, Korean-made kits are highly demanded all over the world, including India. A microarray is a collection of microscopic DNA spots attached to a solid surface. Scientists use this technique to analyze various mechanisms of large targets simultaneously. Picture at the left is a typical microarray slide filled with inbuilt probes. Picture at the center refers to the principle involved in microarray techniques. Picture at the right refers to the final data signal from a microarray experiment. Before going into the particulars of microarray techniques and products, let's see why there is still need of microarray for research activities. This slide shows the study pattern change in analyzing the genome. As you can see, when Human Genome Project was initiated. It was with Sanger and targeted genotyping techniques. And later, it moved to the genome-wide genotyping based on microarray techniques. And currently, we are analyzing the genome details using next-generation sequencing techniques. The reason for study pattern change to whole genome sequencing by MGS is due to the rapid advancement in the instrumentation. When Human Genome Project was done, it took about 13 years and involvement of 40 institutions with huge amount of money. But due to the latest advancement instrumentation by next generation sequencing, human genome sequencing has become much faster and affordable. The main objective of whole genome sequencing is to analyze specific polymorphism in the genome. Though Whole genome sequencing is getting popular for identifying the polymorphism, but still microarray techniques have several advantages than whole genome sequencing. The first advantage is the cost. Still microarray genotyping techniques is much cheaper than whole genome sequencing, roughly five times cheaper. And we can receive the analyst report in much shorter period. Better statistical power of large sample numbers. Easier data management because microarray does not require large storage space and it can be easily interpreted. Microarray techniques are much mature and established technique with huge number of publication and proven science. The major microarray product manufacturers include Illumina, Agilent, Affymetrix from Thermo, Thermo Fisher Scientific. Illumina products mostly include genotyping and methylation arrays. 
Agilent products includes mRNA expression, micro RNA expression, compatible genome hybridization arrays. Affymetrix array includes genotyping, expression, and cytogenetic analysis. All these three platforms are closed system, which means each of these microarray reagents should run in a specific instrument. Example, Illumina product should run in iScan, Agilent in Search Scan, and Affymetrix in Gene Titan or Gene Scanner instrument. In this presentation, I'm going to focus only on the Illumina microarray and its advantages and chemistry. In Illumina array technology, the microscopic beads are covered with specific oligonucleotides that act as a capture techniques, capture sequence. This beads self-assemble into micro wells on the slides. And multiplexing up to 5 million loci per sample is possible through this Illumina array technology. Illumina Infinium bead chip uses 50 mer probe followed by a single base pair extension for hybridization. This chemistry leads to excellent signal to noise ratio, resulting in more high quality data. Variable DNA concentration and problematic samples like FFP tumor cells can be also analyzed using this technique. This slide shows uh, the overall workflow of Infinium array. Total workflow that is from sample to data takes only three days of processing. On day one, the genomic DNA is amplified and then amplified DNA was incubated overnight. On day two, using enzymatic process, amplified DNA was fragmented, then precipitated and resuspended. Then hybridization of fragmented DNA with identical probes in the bead chip is done. On day three, bead chip was stained and bead image is captured. And the data was analyzed by genotyping call rates and the report was generated. Thus, the entire workflow can be completed within three days. This type of faster report delivery is very useful in analyzing large number of samples in short time period. In case of human, where well-defined human genome reference was available, so there is a diversified Illumina Infinium arrays targeting specific SNP markers. This slide shows some of the available human genotyping arrays in the market from Illumina. In the case of Illumina Infinium Core Array, it detects the common genotypic variants in large effect size. In case of the Illumina Omni Express array, it detects the common variants in the small effect size. An Omni 2.5 million array detects very detects rare and intermediate variants, while the Omni 5 million array detects very rare variants in large effect size. Based on the research objectives, researcher can choose their required Illumina Infinium products for their project. Apart from human genotyping arrays, there are also several plant genotyping arrays from both Illumina and Thermo Fisher scientific companies. All these genotyping arrays include important SNP markers and are of high commercial importance. These genotyping arrays help in screening huge number of plant progenies. In case of Soy SNP array, it includes about 52,000 commercially important SNP markers. Maze genotyping array. Maze genome size is about 2.2 gigabytes. Whole genome sequencing of maze sample would be very costly. Alternatively, there's an option in using cost-effective Illumina Maze SNP50 array. This bead chip contains more than 50,000 validated markers derived from the B73 reference sequence. The MACE SNP50 genotyping array enables the interpretation of genetic variation across the MACE lines. This is the one of the example of plant genotyping array available from Illumina Infinium platform. And this slide shows the 
other infinium products targeting agricultural markets. It includes bovine, cow, canine, dog varieties, bovine, sheep, uh, porcine, pig, genotyping arrays. And that's all I got for today. To summarize, we have seen the importance of microarrays over whole genome sequencing, microarray manufacturers, Illumina Infinium chemistry, and popularity of human genotyping arrays, and finally about the genotyping arrays and its commercial importance. And if you have any doubts or need assistance regarding the microarray, you can contact me at jay at macrogen.com. I'll be happy to answer your queries. I appreciate your attention. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.